Alright y'all, so uh, it's snowing a little bit, seems to be settling down, not snowing as much now, it was coming down pretty decent. We didn't get a lot, but enough to make a bit of a mess. Going 10 to 15 miles per hour on the belt line, and this is just what it is, man. This is winter in Wisconsin, baby. K from Kay's guinea pigs, you'll know this. Uh, who else? I think Rachel used to live in Michigan. And Michael Bergman, you live in Minnesota, you know this. This is nothing for us or for anyone else in the north, uh, northern states. Um, the closer to Canada you get, the more aggressive the cold and snow become as a general rule. It's not black and white, but as a general rule. Um, and since I'm actually, you know, Wisconsin borders Canada, I believe, at the very top. I live in southern Wisconsin. But we still get a lot of the snow and the ice and the, all that down here. So, um, yeah. Look at that, we're speeding up. Woohoo! Going to the grocery store. There are closer ones to home, but the fact of the matter is, Woodman's is the best. It is the biggest, most selection, cheapest prices overall. There may be a little fluctuation on that, but as a general rule, they're pretty much usually cheaper than every other grocery store. And I've been going there so long, I know it like the back of my hands. Um, tell you what, I'm going to tell you a funny story. Um, I've been going to Woodman's like since I was a kid. I mean, I know this store inside and out. I go there all the time. Um, so my older brother was with me one day, and he is um, what's the word? Cognitively challenged. Think like Special Olympics, um, which he's not as active in these days, but I think he still does something. Um, but for a long time in his life, he was doing basketball and bowling softball and um, I don't even know what else. He was doing all kinds of sports. Um, but anyway, so he's a special guy, you know, and that's important to the story. Um, my brother and I went to Woodman's one day and when we first got there, I had to use the bathroom. Um, so we went in and he just came in the bathroom with me because he just felt more comfortable or safe that way, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, he came in there and waited for me. We come out of the bathroom and we go into the store and we get whatever we got. I don't even remember now. Um, but it's important to note that I did not go, or we did not go, into the dairy section. We went towards the back of the store, but not the dairy part of the back of the store. Um, so, and that's where uh, you'll find whipped cream in spray cans, like the aerosol cans or whatever. Not aerosol, I don't know. Anyway, um, so my brother and I go through checkout. We're about to leave the store when suddenly three dudes surround us. And they're all managers. One of them's a big guy. Um, and one of them, actually, I think might have been either one of the owners or one of like really high ups. I've seen the guy on, on the commercials. He was a high up guy. Pretty sure. Don't quote me. I might be wrong. It might have just been a look kind of like it. But anyway. The, the point is, three management people surrounded us, and they were accusing us of going in the bathroom with, and, and just going to town with whipped cream. So apparently somebody, between the time, I don't know if it happened before we got there, and it just wasn't in the, the, the stall, that I, I don't know. Um, but whatever it was, I never saw it when we were in the bathroom. But I only went in one stall. I didn't go in the other one. So they said that uh, they were being accusatory and they wanted to see the spray cans or whatever because they worked in the trash in the bathroom. And I'm like, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and Patrick, my brother, got scared because he knows we didn't do anything. But he's scared of going to jail, getting in trouble, all this stuff. And I'm like, Patrick, just let me talk. It'll be fine. I got this. We're innocent, like 100% innocent. I started laughing. I'm not gonna lie, I was just laughing. I'm like, dude, we never went anywhere near the whipped cream. Nowhere 
near it, and I didn't bring any in with me. I said, we will stay here. If it takes five hours, we will sit here and wait for you to go through that camera footage and find us walking into the store. You will notice, A, if you zoom in and look at our pockets, you're not going to see any bulges. If we had brought a can of that stuff here, there'd be bulges in our pockets. You see that car coming to my lane right there? <laughs> Crazy. Um, I said, and you can watch us walk through the store following the various cameras, and you will see that we were never near the whipped cream. Furthermore, even if we had gone to the whipped cream first, or I mean, even if we had gone to whipped cream, we went to the bathroom first. That was the first thing we did. We couldn't have done it by taking it from your store because we went to the bathroom before we went to the back of the store. Plus, like I said, even if you look at it, we didn't go to that part of the back of the store. So anyway, the guys were all just like, the one guy's like, well, we're going to watch the footage and uh, we catch it. Next time we see you, you're banned. And I'm like, dude, have at it. I have nothing to hide. I didn't do nothing wrong. My brother didn't do anything wrong. And I don't appreciate the accusation. Um, so, anyway, they're like, because I told them we'd wait for them to look at the camera, but it, it, it takes time to do all that or whatever, but I'm like, you guys do what you gotta do, but I promise you, we are innocent. Like, we didn't do a doggone thing. Um, and so, anyway, um, I've been going there ever since. I mean, before that and after that, it didn't stop me from going there. And in fact, I still wave at the guys when I see them. Obviously, they had to have checked the footage and known that we were innocent. So, I mean, I go in there all the time. I don't steal. I don't cause problems. I go in. I get my stuff. Sometimes I take my time because just to waste time. But I never cause problems, ever. Like, it's not a thing. I go in. I do my business. I get my stuff. And I go. Um, I might sit there and price compare a bunch of stuff just because I can and I have the time. And why not? But, like... Yeah, so anyway, that's just a fun little story for you. The time my brother and I were surrounded by management at Woodman's and being accused of spraying whipped cream all over the place. Huh? Uh, all over one of the bathroom stalls. And I, the other thing I mentioned, I think, I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned at the time, like, we're adults. Why would we do that? Like, if we were teenagers, maybe. I could see myself doing something, you know, petty like that as a teenager, but... Even as a teen, I wouldn't necessarily do that, but as a grown adult, I've matured, I've grown up, I'm like, no, <laughs> I would not do that. If I do anything, I'll eat it straight out of the can. That's about as rebellious as I am. I'll, I'll eat good cream straight from the can, for sure. But I'm not going to go pouring it on people, pouring it on things, etc. Except for food. I'll put it on food to eat, but yeah. So anyway, guys, we're almost at Woodman's here, so I'm going to end it here. Remember, take care of your pets, they'll take care of you, and I will see you all in the next one. Whee! Alright. Have a good day, y'all.